you can make some nice graceful curves with the pen tool. But I must warn you that it takes some practice. So I'll show you how it works. First, I will get the pen tool. Now in order to make a simple curve, we need to have just two clicks. The trick is to draw a curve though, you have to be dragging when you touch down with the pen. So I'm going to drag and drag. And here I have a little curve. You can see it's got anchor points and handles. Now to stop drawing, I will hold down the command or control key and click. Now I'm going to zoom in on this and get the direct selection tool. And we'll look again at the anchor points and the handles. We can drag these any which way and end up with a beautiful, graceful curve. Now in order to draw something more complex, we can use the pen tool also, but it is more difficult. It's going to take a lot of practice and I will show you the second page of this document where I practiced making thought clouds. You might remember that I have a little bit of an obsession with thought clouds and so I tried drawing a bunch and they are all pretty much terrible. This one over here is not too bad. So I'm going to try again and I'll show you how it works get the pen tool and I'm going to be dragging around. I've discovered that I need three clicks per lump in my thought clouds. So here we go. There'll be a beginning click and then after that three clicks per lump. You have to plan ahead and know where you're going when you use this tool. And then I'm going to zoom in here and this is just a pretty terrible thought cloud. But I'm going to remember that I've got the delete anchor point tool or the minus pen and I can delete anything that looks super awkward such as here at the beginning of this one. This I can get rid of and of course I can add anchor points anytime I want. Now to work on a particular curve, I click on the curve and I'm shown the handles. Now if I want to work on a particular anchor point, for instance here, I click on the anchor point and I get both handles for that point. So just pay attention to where you click and you will get different handles showing up. Now if I wanted this to be a more sharp point. I would add an anchor point, add anchor point tool, click there, and now you can see I've got handles that I can deal with. I can move it and then I can make a more pointy intersection. By doing this you can move the handles very close and get a sharper intersection. Now you can see it's a good bit of work and I could play with this for hours and eventually I'd probably get something that wasn't too bad. But I'm going to recommend the pencil tool for this kind of a shape. Or I also did a video on using the ellipse tool plus the pathfinder that will make a darn good thought cloud too. So there are various ways to draw, but I must say that if you just want to make a nice graceful curve, you can't beat the pen tool. It's the way to go. So I'll see you in the pencil tool video and we'll draw more thought clouds.